Hello my friend, Scott here representing Youth Potential. Sorry that I've not posted any content recently, I've just been quite busy and... Yeah, but anyway, um, so I've got a new one for you. Uh, it's called uh, Mental Health Movies. I think that's what I'm going to call it anyway. It's a new series that I'm going to be doing which is basically reviewing movies that have either strong mental health themes or films that have just sort of quite clearly trying to illustrate mental health in some sort of aspect whether it's a, a character or the main protagonist perhaps they've uh, going through something that's really traumatic or perhaps they've got a mental health condition and it's the movies about like how they sort of navigate through life just anything like that and today for this first video I'm going to start with something that's a little bit harder to find probably a movie that the majority of you will have not even heard of let alone seen and to be honest I never even heard of it until recently so this movie is called Combat Shock it was released in 1984 and yeah so what we're going to do throughout this video is I'm going to tell you what some of the things that happen and break down a little bit about how it illustrates um, mental health in in the way that it does uh, this movie is about PTSD basically it's um, a gentleman who was in uh, the Vietnam War uh, but he's trying to adapt to more civilian life now and the movie is just about how PTSD affects him and it affects him severely anyway let's just cut to the uh, title take that mental illness Hello my friends and welcome to Youth Potential, a place where we talk about all sorts of things related to mental health, whether you feel good or whether you feel meh, this place is for you. Also, I've got an Instagram account, please go and check that out. The movie opens with a 10 minute dream or flashback sequence where the protagonist, Frankie, is reliving his combat experiences. From this opening sequence we get to see what it is that causes Frankie's PTSD in the first place. When Frankie snaps out of his dream or his flashback, whatever you want to call it, uh, we get to see what life has been like since, um, since the war. He lives in a shabby apartment with his wife and a deformed baby. Yes, this utter abomination. Neither of them work and they don't have any food in the apartment or anything like that. And things get really tense between Frankie and his wife. And eventually Frankie gets really agitated. The majority of the film follows Frankie as he looks for ways to get money to pay for his apartment before the landlord evicts him. Frankie gets into some unfortunate situations, which he tries to cope with by bottling up. Along the way, he has flashbacks and eventually snaps when he can't handle it anymore. When the film is monologuing Frankie's inner thoughts, he says things that people with PTSD in real life, as well as psychosis, would typically say, such as, and my mind forces me somewhere else. I can't stop it because it's so real that I believe it. I think this movie, especially with a small budget and lack of experience uh, from the production crew, um, I think this movie does a solid job at illustrating PTSD and how it can really affect someone. This film is very dark in its tone. Some of the scenes depict violence in a brutal manner. I'm not going to spoil the movie, so you'll have to find out for yourself to see what actually happens there, but it, it is brutal. One thing I will say about this movie is if you're not used to low-budget horror movies or PS1-era Resident Evil games, you might find some of the acting to be a bit campy or wooden or just plain out rubbish but by the end of the movie it packs a punch worth experiencing the, and the audio used in this movie is half uneasy in a good way i might add and half the time the audio is just laughable but in the gritty scenes uh, i think the audio is pretty good to be honest like it's quite eerie and ominous but in the exposition shots it's a lot more campy sounding the film can seem like a bit of a slow burner, but honestly, I think it really pays off in the end. Overall, Combat Shock, I think, is a decent movie. Uh, I think it portrays PTSD brilliantly. Even though the film just uses really basic editing techniques, it just works so well with the... Well, okay, it's not the most greatest uh, sound engineering, but 
it, it does work, it does work. And you can watch this movie here on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below.